Other matters now. Women of Okigwe have lauded the developmental strides of Governor Hope Uzodema across Imo State, especially on road revolution. The women and other leaders who paid a solidarity visit to the governor at Government House Uwari expressed their continuous support to the Shared Prosperity Administration. For the governor, the visit is a moral booster and he urged the people of Ogigwe to continue to support the All Progressives Congress as elections draw near. This visit today is by kind of sincere appreciation to our father, the executive governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzodema. Sir, for your, for your vision and infrastructural revolution in our dear state, construction and commission of Owere Okiwe Road. I want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank you people for making this day possible and for being here to show solidarity to not only my government, but to me and my wife and those of us working with me in my team. Still on infrastructure development, professional project managers have advocated proper planning and timely release of funds to address the issue of failure and abandonment of projects in Nigeria. The managers made these observations during the Project Management Institute Expo with the theme resolving project failure issues in the public and private sectors. Correspondent Abid Alawal reports. In many parts of the world and Nigeria, post-COVID-19 recovery policy measures have involved investment in infrastructure projects. An international monetary fund report published ahead of the G20 leaders meeting in 2020 argued that the synchronized infrastructure investment push could invigorate growth, limit carrying, and address climate goals. The report posited that when many countries act simultaneously, public infrastructure investment could help lift growth domestically and abroad through trade leakages. In Nigeria, the federal government has established the Infrastructure Corporation of Nigeria Infracorp with a seed capital of one trillion naira. Experts in project management say a research into Nigeria's project landscape suggests that project delivery remains an ongoing concern. If you notice, the issue with projects is not just funding. The fact of the matter is that we don't have a structure in place for every project to be run by a program or a project management office, right? And then you should have the right people running the project, certified project manager. What we have um, in, in our environment, it's more of accidental project managers, those who have had experience in doing projects for years, but they are not certified. So the first step is to first forget people in the right places. So you have projects in the local government sector being run by, um, being run by people who are, who are experienced in that space, but they are not certified project managers. Of course, we don't expect that project to succeed. We all don't have any choice now but to make things work. And what this would require for everyone, which is what we're doing now, yes, is, um, we all need to have a consciousness of project management and besides having a consciousness of project management we all need to start imbibing these principles and this is just about the principles and the principles and also achieving the objectives and this is about delivering value how do we deliver this value there are just some guiding principles which we need to follow the resolve that governments at all levels must ensure adequate planning is done, not just on budgetary provision for projects, but also on the release of approved funds. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja. The National Universities Commission has officially 